Hello and welcome to a chest and back day for upright bow flexes. My name is Eric and this is the special routine. This is the very first routine of a new program I'm releasing on the channel called Extreme Muscle. Now, Extreme Muscle is going to consist of eight different workout routines I'll be releasing for free here on YouTube. And basically all of them are going to be done in the same style where we focus on a couple muscle groups and we're going to be doing rep based work where we're going to be doing 10 reps per set, and then we're going to be taking a rest interval of at least one minute between each set. Now, there's a lot of qualifiers there. I'm going to be doing 10 reps per set. You could do 6, 8, 10, 12, whatever you want. And uh, basically, we're trying to exhaust the muscle or get very close to exhaustion and then rest it up. And then we're going to blast that muscle again. And this is called hypertrophy. And hypertrophy is accepted in the weightlifting community and scientific community. It's pretty much the best way to build muscle. Fatigue it and then rest it and then do it again. Now, as part of this, I will be writing down all of my resistance as I go throughout this routine. And there's a link to a PDF that you can download and you can do this exact same thing. I'll be doing this throughout this entire routine where I write down my weight setting and the number of reps that I did. And this routine, I am going to come back to multiple times. And when I come back to it, I want to see exactly where I left off the last time. And uh, I want to you know, at least do what I did last time, if not beat that. So either raise that resistance up or do a couple more repetitions because that is how we get stronger. We need to keep raising those numbers up and we're going to do that by, you know, keeping track of some of this data. There'll be a link to that program in the description and the actual purchase of the program is going to give you more advice about the frequency you should do these routines, uh, the, what you should do on your rest days, your diet, all that info. And so put it all together in a spreadsheet for you, which might make this a little bit easier to follow along. I think the biggest benefit of purchasing the program is it's going to give you a lot more structure in working towards a fitness goal because everybody can set goals. It's, I want to lose weight or I want to build muscle or I want to be a millionaire. Whatever your goal is, it's really tough to do that without having a plan because if you're just like jumping around between different things, it's, it's hard to stay on target and it's hard to stay motivated. But if you have a plan about how you're going to achieve your goal, all you have to do is every day just show up and keep plugging away towards that plan. And without it, it's easy to just skip a day and you know knock it off the couch. But the plan is going to get you off the couch and get you onto the Bowflex. So check that out. There's also channel memberships that have more workout programs that you gain access to as well. If you're a beginner, I would definitely look at the beginner plans. But this routine here is designed for people that have either Bowflexed a lot or uh, have a lot of prior uh, resistance training experience. So be sure to check all that stuff out. And if you're new to the channel, you might also not recognize these elastic bands I have on my machine. Basically, bands are a very inexpensive way to add a lot of resistance to your Bowflex. There's a link to, uh, to more details on that in the description. I'll be using the shorter handles that came with my bands as well. Basically, shorter handles means the resistance is going to kick in a little bit sooner and it's going to be heavier at the end. So I like using short handles when I'm lifting really heavy. So a couple final things is there will not be a warm up as part of this because this routine is designed for more advanced lifters who I kind of thought might have their own preferred warm up. I know I kind of have my own. I like to go for a little run and come back and stretch it all out nice and good. So uh, with all that out of the way, we'll be racking up our resistance right after those three beeps. All right, hopefully you're all warmed up and stretched out and we're gonna start racking up our resistance. Our first lift is gonna be a chest press. And for this, I like having my seat in the highest position as I do a chest press. And uh, again, I've got my pulleys in the second widest position here. Now I'm gonna have a couple different weight recommendations showing up on the screen here, but that's for the first time you're doing this routine. Hopefully you're coming back to this routine several times and uh, you got some numbers from your, your past experience with it that can help you decide what to start out with. Now I'm gonna be racking up uh, about 100 pounds of power rods on each side, along with 110 pounds of elastic bands, just to show you what I'm doing here today. Now, I normally do a little bit more weight than this. I, uh, it's kind of tough when you're talking through everything. So, you know, find a weight setting that is good for you. And hopefully I can have some good form and technique throughout this whole video as well. Now, uh, another thing too, is I like having these, uh, workout or, um, weightlifting gloves on. And that's going to give me a lot better grip on my handles here. And especially in my garage here, it is like 95 degrees outside and it's pretty warm in here. So I'm sweating a lot. So uh, if you need some of these, 
grab them off Amazon or whatever local sporting goods store you got nearby, and they're going to help give you a better grip. So I'm all ready to go here. And first thing to know when you're doing chest press, you're going to have your hands over the handle. And you can also, if you find this is too wide of a setting, you can bring this in one position. I like starting out wide with my chest press. And what you're going to want to do is be, you know, have your back nice and firm up against the backrest. Don't be sliding down. That can happen from time to time, especially as you're getting later in the set. Sit up nice and tall, and then we're going to be starting here where we just press these handles out in front of us in just a few seconds. Here's one. And I'm going to be counting this as we go. Two. Three. I like exhaling as I press out. There's four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now we got one minute here, and this is going to be a rest interval. I won't be talking nearly as much here as we get going, but be sure to write down that resistance and the number of reps you did so you know where to start next time. And so you can take this time to kind of shake it out, maybe stretch it a little bit. Just get in the right headspace for our next set here. We got four sets of chest press in total. All right, at this point, you're going to be want to be sitting down, kind of getting ready in position so you can join me in just a few seconds. All right, let's press it out nice and smooth. Slowly retract. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Very good. So you should be feeling a little bit of struggle there, especially near the end. If you can't complete all ten, that's okay. And uh, also, you can adjust your weight setting between these sets as needed. I'm going to keep mine the same, though. All right, everybody, let's you know, sit down. Let's get in position so we can blast off in just a few more seconds. Hands on those handles. Let's go. There's one, two, three, four, five. Focus on your breathing. Exhale as you press out. That's six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Now, if you feel like you got a lot of reps left in the tank, uh, you could always raise that resistance. Coming into our final set, though, I might leave it where it's at. It's kind of up to you. What you don't want to end up is with a weight setting where you can do 14 or 15. If that's the case, definitely raise it up at this point. After this, we're going to be moving into some incline press, which would be really similar 
But we'll get to that after we finish this one out. All right, everybody, let's sit down. Get those hands in position. Lean back, and we're starting in three, two, one. Let's press. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Next, we're moving into incline press. You can adjust your weight setting if you'd like, or you can leave it the same. Normally, I would drop the resistance by about 20, 25% or so. So I'm gonna drop one of my power rods here. I might raise it back up. We'll see how this goes. And then for incline press, seat in the same position, pulleys in the same spot. The big difference we're gonna have is instead of our handles underneath the hands, or excuse me, instead of the hand, yeah, handles underneath the hands, we're gonna put them like this here. So you'll notice the cable ends up above our arm. And as we press out, we are gonna be pressing up too. So we're gonna have the handles kind of end up at about forehead height here. So everybody, let's go here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling as you press out. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Let's write down that weight and then you can adjust as needed. Now I'm gonna plus mine up a little bit. I went a little bit lower than I normally go. I think I overdid it a little bit. I found that just a little bit too easy to coast through. So again, keep tweaking that resistance, find something difficult, but not impossible to do all 10. And if you come up one or two reps short, that's all right. Give it all you got. All right, let's all be seated down. Grab those handles. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. We got one more set of incline press coming up. After this, we're going to have a little bit longer of a rest interval where we get set up for a, a little bit different of a lift coming up after this. At the 10 second mark, I want you sitting down, ready to go. So you can stick with me, hands underneath the handles. Now let's get in position, final set of incline press. Press it out, there's one. Nice and smooth, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Here we go. All right, good work. Okay, up next we have a leaning cable crossover, a little bit different here. I'm gonna be dropping the weight down. I'm gonna be doing 100 pounds of power rods on both sides for this. So maybe drop your weight by about 50%. And from here, what we're gonna do is we are gonna plant our feet here and I kind of like squeezing onto the seat as I do this with my knees. And I'm gonna lean forward and then I'm gonna pull this weight up kind of out in front of me. So just kind of like this here. Now, I'm gonna run out of cable length if I go all the way out. But what we should be feeling is this in our upper chest as we raise this weight out in front of us and you can have, I like having my butt up against the backrest here and then my knees braced against the seat. And it's gonna give me lots of leverage for doing this. And I'll be leaning forward and pulling that weight in. So this is gonna be working our chest and kind of our biceps together here. So let's feel this out. And we're going in two, one. Let's raise it up, there's one. Two, three, four, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now I want you to think about how that weight setting felt as we write down our resistance. I'm gonna try just dropping the weight just a little bit. And here you know, we do have a extended rest period here so you could even see how that weight setting feels to you before we go into our next set. It's feeling a little bit better to me. I might've had just a little bit too much weight on the racked up here. I was struggling to get full extension there at the end. All right, so let's get in position. Feet straddling the seat, butt up against the tower, leaning forward, and now let's Raise those handles up. Again, mine are, now they're ending up just a little bit past my shoulders. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Now with that, you should not be feeling any sort of strain in your lower back or upper back. This is all kind of your upper chest, a little bit of your biceps, and maybe even just the tad of your shoulders. So if you're feeling any sort of soreness in your lower back from that position, Try dropping the weight just a little bit and really just focus on your form and finding something that feels smooth and comfortable for you. Because we're going to have a lot of routines where you can keep working on raising that, that weight setting up. Okay, let's get in position. Straddle the seat. Grab those handles, lean forward. Final set of this, that's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Okay, so we have another extended break here. That's because we're changing our lift up. We're going in, into decline press. Now, for decline press, I like dropping my weight or my seat down by one level. And now I'm going to re-rack what I had on the machine for my, uh, for my incline press. So let me put this all back. And for me, I had 190 pounds in total racked up. So wherever you ended incline would be a good place to start here. And now we're just going to sit down. We're going to grab these handles here, and I'm going to put my hands over the handles just like I did for chest press. And so I'm seated a little bit closer to the ground here, and so that means the weight is starting up a bit higher. And I'm going to just press that weight down towards my knees, and then I'm going to raise up. And this is going to work your lower pecs just a little bit more than your chest press would. So just straight down like the, not straight down, but at an angle towards our knees. Back firmly against the backrest and we're pressing down. There's one, two, three, four, five. Exhale as you press out, there's six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. All right, think about that weight setting. If you need to change it, do that. If not, just take a Take a good breather here. All right, this is going to be one of our last chest exercises. So we got two more decline presses coming up and then we're going to be shifting in a lot into a lot more back work. We're going to be doing rows and some um, kind of cross rows and stuff. Oh, let's grab those handles though. Let's get in position and get ready to start here. Press it down. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. final set coming up here of decline press. And yeah, that is our final chest exercise. So I want you giving it all you got on this final set. And then we're switching into all back stuff. A lot of, a lot of rows coming up. Let's grab these handles here. Here we go. There's one. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, nice work. Let's drop that last weight setting down or the last uh, number of reps. And I'm going to leave my weight setting the same here to get things started. I'm going to go ahead and move my seat back up one position, though. And let me show you our next lift. This is going to be a seated pull-down row or a floor pull-down row is what I'm calling it, where basically we are going to just drop all the way to the floor here. And I kind of like having this seat in position here just so I can grab it to get up. But you can actually take the seat all the way off if you want. And then you're going to take these handles here and sit up nice and tall. And then you're going to pull them back and then get a nice squeeze in your upper back as you pull that weight towards you. So everybody, hope you're in position here and get ready to join me in about 20 seconds. So you're going to go nice and slow, exhaling as you're pulling that weight down and then inhaling as you release. So 10 of these, and then we can adjust the weight setting as needed. There's one. Slowly release that weight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. We're going to be doing a total of four of those. And again, just adjust that weight setting as needed. I'm going to plus it up a bit. Those felt really smooth to me. It felt really good. Maybe a little too smooth. I need a tiny bit more weight on. So we got 15 more seconds. At the 10 second mark, I want you on the floor with me here though. So you don't fall behind. Grab these handles. And now let's row. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. Eleven more sets to go. You're well over halfway done with this routine. Just stay with me here. I'm never sure what to say during these long break periods, but one thing I want to tell you too is if you're doing this routine multiple times following the program, you're welcome to throw me on mute, play some other music. That works too. And just follow along with what's on screen here. I try to keep these routines so you can do them either way. For now though, let's get in position. Starting off in three two, one, let's row it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. And 10. One more set of these coming right up. Yeah, I talked about doing this routine multiple times. I think this is actually my sixth or seventh time doing this routine. Um, I've been kind of iterating on it and trying to improve it over the course of doing it. And keeping records of all my stuff. Let's get in position here. There's one, two, last set of this, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, that's the last one where we're on the ground. And now we're moving into a standing cross row. And for this, I am gonna drop the weight down pretty significantly. So I'm going to 80 pounds of power rods on both sides from here. And uh, you might wanna go less. This is a tough lift coming up here where we're gonna be grabbing the handles and crossing the weight over in front of us. This is gonna continue to work out our back here. So I like also kind of again, nice and get a good uh, stance here kind of over the seat and then I'm gonna grab these handles and I'm gonna pull them up like this and as I pull that weight the handles are gonna kind of come up and hit my almost hit my shoulders here and I'm gonna get a really nice squeeze in my back as I do that and then we're just gonna keep repeating it 10 repetitions And I'm still in the second widest position here. All right, so break time's over. Let's get in position. And grab these handles. Let's get ready to go. Now let's pull, hold it for just a sec, and then release, and keep repeating. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Adjust that weight setting as needed. I'm going to plus it back up to 100 pounds here. And again, we're writing this all down. So next time I come back to this routine, I'm doing 100 pounds from the start. I found that 80 for me was just a tad bit too low. All right, break time's over. Let's get in position. Grab them handles. Let's pull it up. There's one, two. Oh, that weight feels so much better. Three, 
four, really challenging here for me. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. All right, one more set of that to go. Seven sets in total remain. All right, let's get it in position, grabbing those handles. Get nice and squared up with the machine. And let's pull that weight back. There's one, two, three. Feel a nice squeeze in your back and those shoulder blades. It's four, five. Control that weight nice and smooth all the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. Standing hammer row up next. Now I'm going to add a little bit more weight back on. I'm going to 150 pounds in total. So this is a plus by 50% from where I was at. And for this, I'm actually gonna move the pulleys into in one setting. So it's in the second narrowest position here. And I'm gonna grab these handles in a hammer grip. So hammer grip is like you're holding a hammer. Instead of flat, you're gonna turn your hands 90 degrees and then you're gonna stand up here one leg on the machine and then row back nice and smooth. Bring those handles towards your chest and that's one. Hold it at your chest and then slowly release. There's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Again, keep it really smooth and feel the squeeze in your back as you pull that weight back towards you. All right, let's get in position. Again, hammer grip. I'm gonna put my other foot on the backrest here. And now let's row it back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold 
one more set of this to go. And after this, we are going to be doing some face pulls. And you can do face pulls with a tricep rope. If you got one, you can grab that now. And if not, you can still just use the normal Bowflex handles or the other handles for this. I'm going to be using my tricep rope, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And basically, we connect both handles to the same side, but we're not there yet. Let's finish this set of hammer rows. Everybody in position here. Let's row. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, final exercise coming right up and that is face pulls. And for face pulls, first thing is I'm gonna be using this tricep rope that I just grabbed here and clipping this on. Now, if you don't have a tricep rope, you can just use your normal handles, your Bowflex ones or the short ones and clip them both onto the same side here. And pretty much what we're gonna do is, I like, first off, having my foot on the base of the machine. Sometimes this can pull the machine for like away from the wall or towards you and you're going to just grab these handles and then you're going to pull them up towards your face and you can kind of bring it up to maybe uh, your forehead or your eyes or even just uh, towards kind of your jawline now let me get this other one clipped up and i'm also going to adjust the weight setting a little bit so right now i have this band holding on to, to both sides and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just unhook it from one and then i hook it right to this other side so now I've got this band kind of as a closed loop here connected to this side. And then I'm gonna leave the power rods the exact same. So just by doing this closed loop with the bands, I added a, a fair bit more resistance. So I'm gonna be grabbing my tricep rope here, thumbs kind of over the ends. And again, I got one foot on the base of the machine and then I'm gonna be pulling this weight back towards my face here and get ready to join me. Final exercise, here we go. There's one, two, three, four. You should feel a nice squeeze in your upper back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. So adjust that weight setting as needed and also write it all down here. Two more sets to go. Now, as I wrap up here, I would uh, love everybody's feedback in the comments below. What do you thought of this routine? And uh, if you're gonna be doing the whole program, you know, let me know that too. So Let's get ready for this next set though. We just got a little bit more time in us. And this weight setting here is pretty heavy for me. I hope I can keep my form and get all 10 reps in here. All right, everybody, let's get in position, grab those handles and get ready to pull. One, two, flare those elbows out nice and wide. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Nine, and 10. All right, one more set.
Let's get in position. We're going to finish out strong here. Final set of the day, starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's pull that, those handles in. There's one, two, three. Feel that squeeze in your upper back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, all right, great job on finishing out this routine. Let's remove those power rods from resistance and wrap them up with a bungee cord or Velcro, whatever keeps them strong. So great job on finishing. And thank you to all my elite Ko-Fi members listed on the page and all of my Ko-Fi members in general. You made this routine possible. If it weren't for you guys supporting me there, I wouldn't be designing these programs, which this routine is part of. So I hope you enjoyed this routine. You should be proud of yourself for finishing. And I hope to see you back for more. So in the meantime, be good to yourself, be good to others. And I'll see you back next time.